Hi there, I've just installed the cubic mini wood stove in my tiny cabin and I'll show you how I did it. Here are the tools you'll need. Tape measure, drill and drill bits, knife or hacksaw, marker, tin snips, and high temperature silicone. I made an almost 7 inch diameter hole in the ceiling to allow the 5 inch insulated pipe to fit through with room to spare. Boom, and like that it's on the stove. And this will go up here, just like that. Now I'm installing the boot gasket around the stove pipe. I've cut it to the right size and I'm just gonna slide it down. And it's gonna sit right there and then be screwed in to the metal roof. I'm applying high temperature silicone around the contact with the roof. Press the gasket into the silicone and bend it to match the profile of the roof metal. And we'll put one dab of silicone right on the seam of the stovepipe, right there against the top of the boot. Looks good. I hope she doesn't leak. Next is the three inch to five inch adapter. I'm gonna remove the rail at the top of the stove so that I can heat up water or make coffee on the top surface of the stove. So I'm gonna take the Nice little decorative brass rail off. As nice as it looks, it'll be more useful to me if this is off. Just like that. So I just finished installing the stove pipe. I already had the stove and the uh, back wall guard already up and I just cut the hole in the roof this morning which gave me some anxiety because I was really worried about cutting a hole in my metal roof. But I did it and it looks good. I can't wait to fire it up for the first time and see how warm she gets. I think this is the perfect size stove for this tiny of a cabin. It is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful sight to see a little fire burning inside my house in a controlled and safe manner. I love it. First fire is a success. I didn't show it, but after I installed the chimney cap on top. Another thing I like about this stove is the sliding tray on the wall mount. I use this tray to prepare the kindling before starting a fire and it's good to catch any sparks or embers which may fall out as you're starting the fire, so I find it pretty useful for that. Okay, I've been burning wood in the stove for a couple weeks now, and I'm gonna clean the chimney pipe and see how much soot and buildup has accumulated. So we'll take the cap off and shove this bad boy in. In the process, it will make your hands black like this. I feel like I'm a chimney sweep now. This is what came out the bottom, and to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more than that. That's very little uh, soot at all, but we cleaned it out, so it should be good to go now. These are the benefits to being so small. I don't need a large amount of energy to heat it, and such a small space warms up very quickly.
I love falling asleep with the flickering glow of the wood stove dancing on the walls and the ceiling. I hope this helped if you are also installing a wood stove. If you'd like to see more of my tiny cabin, that video is coming next where I will show the inside and outside and explain the reasons why and how I built it. So thank you for watching.